Hey there guys, are you sort of bored of all those new games that are coming out and they don't really match your style? Then it's time to go old school again. Today I'm going to show you how you can use DOSBox and a really nice website from where you can get and play free games for MS-DOS on any Windows machine and even a Macintosh. So now let's begin. First of all you're going to need DOSBox of course. To download it, you can just Google it or directly go to DOSBox.com. From the website, click the Downloads link and then select the version that you want. So there's a Windows version, as I mentioned, and also a Mac OS X version. So that's really, really nice. So in download the application and install it. The installer is pretty simplified, so I don't think we need to go through that. Now let's check out the website we're going to be using to get our games from. It is the DOS Games Archive and the website for this is dosgamesarchive.com. So it's a very nice website. You have playable demos, freeware games, full version games, everything. So here is Prince of Persia 4D, which is currently being showcased. Here's the page. You even have a video, a screenshot, a rating, etc. So there's the download at the bottom. Simply download the zip file and put it in some place, for example, the desktop. Alright, now let's get to work. This was the easy part. Now here come the little bit more advanced things. You're going to have to extract the game. So open up the zip file, put it to the left, and then open up your C drive, put it to the right. Alright, so now you're going to need to create a new folder in the C drive where your game is going to be stored. So I'm just going to create a new folder, type in POP, which is going to stand for Prince of Persia. And then go back to the zip file. On your keyboard, press Control plus A. And then simply drag the files to the folder that you just created. Alright, so that's real simple. They should be extracted almost instantaneously because they're less than a megabyte. Now you can close out the Explorer window and it's time to get to DOSBox. Simply click on the DOS box and from here you're going to need to mount your C drive. So begin by typing in mount C and afterwards you're going to type in the directory of your game. So mine in this case would be C POP then click on enter and you're gonna see that the C drive will be mounted. So now let's go to the C drive by typing in C once more. And then you can type in there to see the full directory and the files that are there. So now you need to launch the game from its executable. So in my case this is 4D print.exe. And that's about it. You already be in the game and you're going to start playing. Thanks for watching this tutorial. There are lots more tutorials over at groovypost.com. And we'll see you next time. Now I've got some Prince of Persia to play.